Well, I'm on my way to the uh, post office before I head over to the studio. I've decided the GoPro is fine for some things, but uh, showing my sculpting uh, is not one of them. Because I can't zoom in, I can't zoom out. Um, and if I do zoom in uh, or put the camera closer, it gets the fisheye effect. So uh, the picture's better, but I'm sacrificing the ability for you to see different parts of what I'm working on so I'm going to cancel using my uh, GoPro for the sculpture um, so anyway that's uh, my thoughts and uh, I'll pick this up at the studio always best to leave a piece when you're not feeling good about it because I feel better about it now somewhat better. Funny how just adding a little bit of change to the eyebrow. It changes the whole look of the eyes. Next week, I'm going to work on another project at, for a friend of mine, and I'm also... Many of you ask uh, often, what kind of clay do I use? Does it fire? Do you fire it when you're done? Uh, does it harden? How long does it take to harden? And all that stuff. Well, it never hardens. I don't have to cover it at night because doesn't dry out. It's uh, a plastiline clay and uh, so it's oil based. You can't fire it. What I do is I have it uh, cast into bronze and if you want to see that process uh, check out my uh, link in the description, top of the description and below this video and uh, on YouTube and uh, I have a video that I put together that uh, shows the process and explains it a little bit 
It's a short video. It's uh, about a 30 minute video, but uh, that's the reason why I've charged less for that video than I did for all my other ones. But uh, it's got some pretty useful stuff in there. If you ever decide to cast your work, you need to know a few things before you go to the foundry and uh, what they're looking for and how you can keep your costs down when you're casting your work. Because it can get really expensive if you're not careful. Like the fringe I was working on the other day, it just it's going to add substantially to the cost of producing this work, but uh, I figured if the client wants something that's unique, they would be willing to pay for it. And so, they don't worry too much about the cost. Although I do try to keep it as low as I can. I think it's coming along pretty good. 
still got the back of the sleeve to do, but I'll do that next week. I gotta get some more clay softened up. Ugh. I get this in 10 pound blocks, and this is about one sixth of a, a block. But I'm gonna put it under the light and let the light uh, soften it up over the weekend. Good night.